So in this part, I'm going to teach you how to add image thumbnails to tables like this. So you have these images for each of the car or each of the vehicle, we have an image. And this is called the image thumbnail. The thing there, and the, the, the interesting thing is, this is very easy to do because you simply need to copy the, the code snippet from Bootstrap website and just uh, use it in your page. So currently we don't have image thumbnail. Uh, so let me go to the application we we are working the current application now. Let me go, I'm going to run it and then let's see what we have. So it's, it takes very few steps to add image thumbnail. So if I go to the new application we are working with, you can see that we don't have no thumbnails, we don't have no pop-up here. So this is what we have. Now we are not going to be doing image upload in this very tutorial because I'm, I reserve it for a little later because there's a number of things involved. There's a synchronous upload and a and synchronous upload. And this has to do with knowing some, having some knowledge about reactive programming implement, implementation in Spring Boot. And this is not something I want to cover now. I want us to cover everything we have in our list and then we go up, we talk about uh, uploads. But if you want to read ahead, I also made a video on image uploads. You can look at it in the description box. You can find the link and you can actually see how to upload the image easily. All right, so let's go uh, continue from where we stop. So the first one we want to do now to be able to use images is go to the static and create an image folder for vehicles. So normally you would like to uh, 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 isolate different categories of images. For instance, in this case, I'm having images of vehicles. So I'm going to call it vehicles. I'm going to call it vehicles. I call it vehicles. So, and if I want to have image of employees or persons, I can just create another folder and call it employees. In that way, I don't scatter all the images all about. And these are images, uh, like mis miscellaneous images, like background images. That's what you see here. And if you have mi images, icons, uh, you can also have a folder called icons. All right, so this is what you want to do. So we want to put images of vehicles in this folder. Now, if you are creating images of vehicles, normally you have to upload it and give it a name. The name of the image of a vehicle should correspond to that vehicle. For instance, if I go back here, you must find a way to relate this uh, name of the vehicle, either the description of the name or the ID, to the image name. So the easiest thing for me to do most of the time in simple applications is simply to name the images with the ID of the vehicle. Just like in case of employees, you are going to name the images with the username of the employee or the registration number of the employees because this is unique. But in this case, we don't have some um, image ID. We have ID here. So we, can, we have to name the images 1.jpg, 2.jpg or 2.png. And that's gonna be fine. Um, later on, we are going to be talking about image processing a little later for more advanced applications. For now, let's try and finish what we have here. All right, so I've created a folder. I call this folder vehicles. So the next thing you want to do is to uh, put in some images there. For now, as I mentioned, I'm not going to be talking about image upload. So I have some images. I will simply uh, place those images there. I call these the images one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to simply place the images because I already have them. And the interesting thing about this is the image thumbnails and the image uh, pop-up, you don't have to resize them. It's the same image that we are going to resize using the code. All right, so let's now see. Now, if you click on this, you can see we have some images, uh, really nice images right here. Okay, that's fine. So let's go back to the table. So I'm going back to the table right now. Uh, let's see, so my table should be in template. I'm going to fleet and it should be in vehicles. So this is my table here. So I'm going to add one more header here. Uh, it's going to be TH, but now I don't need anything. Maybe I can call it photo. I can just send the header to be photo. Um, and then I'm going to add one more header just before the ID. I'm going to say TD uh, slash TD. Okay. So this is where exactly we are going to put the image right inside this TD. And it's going to be a link. It's going to be an anchor tag just like this. 
Now, this image is going to be displaying the image coming from uh, this folder here, this IMG folder. And you already know that you can use href. So you can just say, here you can say href, but in this case, we are using timely. So it's going to be th href is equal to and specify the location of this image like this. And now the location of the images is slash img img slash uh, slash vehicles okay and slash okay now we have this slash img slash vehicles slash but we need the full part of the image to be able to display the image let me just correct this one so it means that we are going to append the ID of the current image. So this is going to be vehicle ID, which is what we have right here. So I'm going to just copy this vehicle ID from here and use it there. So let me just copy. So I'm going to simply say here, I'm going to say plus, I'm concatenating plus this, and I'm going to say plus again. And now I'm going to specify the JPG. So what we are going to have now is that the image is going to display, but uh, and actually, so yeah, so it's not, it's not going to display because this is just the link we have. So we, inside here, we are going to have the IMG. So the IMG tag is going to have IMG SRC is equal to, yeah, so something like this, but in this case, I'm going to simply uh, paste the complete line of code, which is like this. So in this case, we are displaying a thumbnail of width 40, height and 40. So this is what exactly we have here. So if I stop this application and rerun it now, it's going to display the image. So let's just uh, test it out to see what we have. So I'm going to stop and then rerun the application one more time. So if I go back to the application now and try to uh, and refresh this page, you can see that we should have images, but for some reason it is not showing. Um, so let's go troubleshoot. So we have IMG vehicles. Um, let's check. Slash IMG slash vehicles. That, is, that should be correct. Have vehicle.id that should be also correct. So what is the problem? Okay, again, let, let's try troubleshooting by I'm going to just kind of uh, stop this application and then restart it one more time. So I'm going to file open recent is going to be this one, and I'm going to simply run it again, and this time hopefully it's going to work because I think everything we have here is correct. All right, so let's go back to our application. Now I'm going to refresh. I'm going to hit refresh on my keyboard. And now you can see that the image shows up. And when I click on the image, it's actually links because we have a link to be linking to the image file. But you can see this does not make sense. What we want to have is a pop-up to display this image. So how do we do that? You can, you can easily go to, um, to Bootstrap and say Bootstrap and look for Bootstrap pop-up and you can find bootstrap actually bootstrap model and you can see a whole lot of uh, models you can use so you can click it it displays a model you can find one that is really good like this one but not this one so for me i'm not going to continue doing this I'm, i have already found a good one so what you do is you copy the model so there's a model and there's a button that launches it you copy the model and the but you don't need to copy the button all right, so for me, I already have copied the model, so I'm simply going to uh, paste it. All right, so this is the model. I wrap it inside a head slash head tag, and I place it just before the table. Actually, this model will not be visible. Now, inside the model body, you can see I added an image tag that has SRC of nothing. So what is going to trigger or assign this SRC to this image will be the click of 
the button or the link. So this, uh, this link here, the click of this link is going to launch the model. So let's give this a tag or anchor tag a name, and then we are going to write the code that is going to execute when you click on this anchor tag. I'm going to call it ID is equal to, let me call it photo button. And we have chh ref that is fine. So now we are going to write the JavaScript code that is going to execute when this is clicked. And that code is simply going to launch the model, which is this model, okay? So to include a script here, because we don't want to use a standard file, we're going to use th block, th block to include uh, um, a script in, a, in, a, in the content page of an application that has a layout page. So I'm going to say layout fragment, layout fragment is equal to script. So the reason we are doing this is because this is a content page and this content page uh, belongs to there's already existing layout. So this what we are adding is, is simply called a layout fragment. So inside this block of code that's going to be a script, we are going to now write our JavaScript code. And the JavaScript code, of course, you know, is going to be scripts. Language is equal to JavaScript. And so inside here, we are now going to write the uh the, the javascript code to load the image so i'm going to copy and paste so that i don't waste uh spend time writing it so here i'm going to paste it i'm going to kind of increase the font a little bit so i can explain it to you so here is document already is the jquery function that says you have to run the next function when the content of the page has already loaded okay so inside uh, the table we have a photo button which is inside the table so we have a photo button then when the photo button is clicked we have a function that's going to execute it's going to say event that prevent default the default behavior is to link to another page which happened before now so this is the default behavior for instance let me just show you so the default behavior of a link is when you click it links to a different page so it's going to we are going to kind of prevent that default behavior by using this line of code that says event that prevent default and then we are going to extract the href attribute of the link we clicked. Remember, we assigned the href attribute of the photo button to the image, right? So we are going to extract that href attribute and assign it to the href attribute of the image inside the model. So the a assign it to the src attribute. So the src attribute currently is empty, but it's going to be assigned when a button is clicked, is the button of uh, the image thumbnail button is clicked, is going to assign that extract of HR, HR, assign it to the assign it to as SRC attributes of the vehicle photo. So that was the vehicle photo. So the vehicle photo is what we have inside the model. So which is we just go up, which is uh, which is this vehicle photo, right, right. So take some time to get your head around it, and then after that, you display the model. So this, the line that actually displays the model. So I think we are done here. So I'm going to stop this application and then refresh this, uh, relaunch this application and let's see what we have. So if I go back to the page now, go back to the page and refresh, and I click on this, you can see it displays the pop-up perfectly well as we want it to display. So we've completed image pop-up uh, and then we are going to be moving on to something else. So the next thing which is, which is an interesting topic is about containerization using Kubernetes. But I think we are going to move this Dockerize uh, Fleet Emergation to upward before Kubernetes because I think it's a prerequisite for you to learn a bit of Kubernetes. So I'm going to be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also uh, leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. If you have challenges, leave me a comment as well. I'm going to respond to you. Else, somebody else in the, um, following this tutorial could also respond to you to give you a solution to, to, to challenges you may face. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.